design. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to make and design a blog post grid or a slider using free Elementor. So if you have a WordPress website and you don't like the default theme or the theme layout for the posts, then you can design a custom grid or a slider for the post using free Elementor which I'll show you step by step. And you can see that I have a few videos about this topic in which we have discussed force grid, slider and everything. But nowadays those plugins or some of their elements are paired and only available in the premium version. So I decided to make a new video to show you how you can design the force grid or slider using only free resources. So you can see that I have these first in the dashboard. These are just dummy posts. And I have this layout for the posts as you can see. This is looking okay but we will see how we can design a custom one. So for that you can just go to your dashboard and the first thing you will need is Elementor obviously and then you can add a new plugin so just go to plugins click add new and here search for Rail add-ons and you will see this plugin Rail add-ons header and footer builder I have used this in my previous videos also just install and activate this plugin once you activate this plugin you will see a new menu here as you can see Rail add-ons so then you will be able to use this plugin now let's see how we can use this so for that you can add a new page or you can edit any of your existing page so let's add a new page and let's call this and we'll edit this with elementor okay let's publish this page and then we'll edit with elementor and now we can make a grid here so for that you can go to elements and here search for posts and you will see this force grid slider carousel this is by Rail Addons as you can see the logo so just drag this over here and as you can see we got this layout which is pretty good we also have this filter this is basically a category filter now you can customize this based on your needs so as you can see we can change the source you can change this to any of these but we are dealing with the first so let's keep it as first selection will be dynamic and you can also display a specific post from a specific author or from a specific category or with specific tags and you can also exclude some posts that you don't want to display. Then you can decide the number of items or the number of items on this page. So as you can see this is 9. You can increase and decrease this. You can give this some offset. And no found text. So if you don't have any posts then you will display this text or you can change this. And this is a pro option. And then we have exclude items without thumbnail. So you can exclude the item that don't have these featured image. Then you can go to layout and here you can select a layout for this. You can change the image size, the number of columns. As you can see we have three columns. And this is the horizontal gutter which is this spacing. And this is the vertical spacing here. You can increase and decrease this. Let me quickly show you. If I change this to 20 you will see some increase in this space and show filter so this is for this filter if you want to hide this you can just disable this now we don't have any filter and this is pagination so if you have more posts this will show pagination like one two three or next and previous and here you can give this some animation so let's choose zoom and you can see this was the zoom animation you can increase and decrease the duration and delay and if you go to elements here you will find everything that are displaying here like we have title date comments excerpt and read more if you don't need read more you can just remove this you can add a new item and here you can decide that you want to display content excerpt date time author and so on let's display author now you can see that we got our author here if you don't need this you can just remove this this is media overlay so this is the hover animations over here you can increase and decrease its width and height and you can enable a single page link for this if I click this this will take me to a single page this is animation so fade in which is this fade in animation you can also change this if you want this is the animation delay and all these are related with this overlay option and then we have image effects so you can give this image some effects and then we have light box pop-up so here you can do settings for auto slide show progress bar and this is the delay show counter arrows captions so here basically you can do settings for the slider and then we have pagination options so you can display a read more button sorry a load more button or you can display next and previous which are available in the pro version only and that's it 
and now you can design this based on your needs so i was searching for layout and i found this one which is really cool so let's try this one i'll just edit the section first we'll give this some padding and uh, we will pick this color and we'll give this section there to background color and now we will edit this grid and we'll just go to its style we'll change its background color to white you can see the background here and we'll give this some padding which is 20 or let's make this 33 and now we will give this some border radius I think 20 will be fine you can see these rounded corners and then we will go to grid media which is this image and we, we will also give this some border radius so this will be only on the top and on the right like this so I think we got it as you can see here we have the same layout we just need to increase the spacing so for that uh, we will go to content and layout and we'll increase this gutter to something like 33 now we have this spacing we will also increase this one and that's it now we have this layout now if you want to convert this to a slider you can just change the layout here if you click this you will see a list style so this is basically a list we will display one column so this will be a nice list or you can just change this to slider now you can see that we have a slider now so this is how you can make a grid in a slider now the best thing in this plugin is this will also give you some ready-made layouts let me show you you can see this we have predefined styles now to get this you can just search for posts once you drag this you will see this predefined styles just click on this and this will open up some force grid that you can use as you can see these are available for free so let's say i want to use this one i can just insert this and now as you can see we got this layout we have filter we have this zoom effects we have this title and category so this was how you can make a block post grid or a slider using free elementor still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.